Hi, YouTube. I'm sorry for disappearing again, uh, unannounced. If you're following me on Twitter, then you know the reason behind it. I don't know if this is a good excuse, but I think it's a good excuse for somebody who doesn't do YouTube for a living. I hurt my neck, uh, I don't know, six weeks or so ago, and I don't know how, I don't know what caused it, um, but over the course of a couple days, I got really bad neck pain that was causing migraines. I went to the doctor multiple times. We weren't really able to figure out what was going on with it. It seemed like some kind of an injury that was brought on by. Mm -hmm. I basically went through a period of about four weeks where I was working with a nonstop migraine slash bad headache that would not go away. I would take uh, extra strength Tylenol every six hours like clockwork, which would just kind of dull the pain enough so that I could do things like go to work, um, do household stuff, but I was not up to recording a video and I also could not really play video games. It was not fun, but luckily, right after I got some x-rays done and paid a bunch of money, it started to get better. So no idea what caused it, no idea what it was, but regardless, my neck was not in good shape and now it's more or less okay. I can do this and not cry. So since I've been away for some amount of time, I wanted to do a quick update vlog, just talk about some stuff. A lot of stuff just happened, there's a lot of stuff coming up and I wanna bridge that gap so I don't just reappear out of nowhere. So first of all, September is the month of video games. There have been so many releases already and there's a bunch more coming up. It has also, for me, been basically a chain of me not finishing video games. First, I was playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. I have a video up. I counted all of the cats and the monastery. It was fun. I'm at somewhere between 80 and 90% done with Fire Emblem Three Houses and the Black Eagle House. And then I stopped. And the reason I stopped, other than the neck pain, after the neck pain, is because Nintendo sent me Astral Chain, and so I've been playing a lot of that. I think right now I'm somewhere around the 30 to 40 percent mark in the game, which is not a whole ton. I have a lot more to do in Astral Chain, but I've been enjoying it a lot. And because Nintendo sent me Astral Chain, I do want to make a video featuring it or maybe do some streaming, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet because things have been so hectic. Uh, that might be coming a little bit later. Sorry. Because then, this past Friday, Borderlands 3 came out, and if you weren't aware, I know I'm Nintendo fangirl, I am also a big fan of Borderlands, and I have been really looking forward to Borderlands 3. So I've been playing that this past weekend, and basically, Astral Chain has been the game that I play when I'm done and I go to bed for the night and I play Astral Chain for an hour. Thank goodness for the Switch being kind of my my bedroom buddy, I guess. But as much as I've now been enjoying Borderlands 3, that's all going to come to a halt in a few more days because The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch is coming out on Friday. Ah. And of course, when that comes out, I'm dropping everything to just play Zelda because it's Zelda, come on. So that's been my gaming life. I've just been finishing everything to about 75% and then having to throw it behind me before something else new and exciting comes out. I'm hoping in October, I'm gonna be able to kind of finish up everything in rapid succession before Luigi's Mansion comes out. Uh, if not, then nothing's getting done. Nope. Because then Pokemon, and then before you know it, we're going to be at Animal Crossing, and I'm only going to play Animal Crossing for like a year after that comes out. So I am personally curious what my fellow Nintendo fans have been prioritizing and playing this September slash October slash November. So let me know down below what you're playing because I do actually, truly, for reals, wanna know. My stuff aside, we actually got some huge, massive Nintendo news and a Nintendo Direct last week, two weeks ago, some amount of time in the past, but in September. If you didn't watch that Nintendo Direct, you definitely, definitely should. I'll put a link down below. There was just a ton of announcements. It would be impossible for me to recap it in any succinct kind of a way, but I'll tell you the things that I'm really excited about. Banjo-Kazooie is out, available right now for Smash. Go download him, go get the character pass or just get him, I don't care which, because Banjo is my favorite ever. You look behind this green screen. There he is. He's right there. We 
also got a new trailer for Animal Crossing, which mostly just recapped a bunch of stuff that we saw in the treehouse back at E3, but there were some minor really cute things like giant mushrooms um, and new accessories and stuff like that. So if you're a huge Animal Crossing fan, you definitely need to see the new trailer. And as we get closer and closer to Sword and Shield coming out in November, we've gotten some more details on that. A couple little cute new Pokemon and lots of new accessories for myself because the character creation is a very important aspect for me personally. I'm really looking forward to Sword and Shield. I think it's shaping up to look really like a fun Pokemon game. I'm for the most part not affected by a lot of the controversies for stuff like the national decks. To me it's not laziness, to me it's a choice that they made and it doesn't bother me. But you do you. Not shown at the Nintendo Direct, but shown a couple days after that. We also saw this new uh, ring thing. I can only think to do this to explain what it is. It will actually hold a Joy-Con in this uh, rubberized ring. And then there's another spot for a Joy-Con on a leg band. It's for exercising. It's the Switch's solution for the, the Wii Fit era device. I really want to use it. I really want to get buff. I'm kind of like not in the worst shape of my life, but not in the best shape either. And I want like this to become this. It can happen. I have faith. I think for now that's it. I feel like there were probably other things that I wanted to talk about, but of course I cannot remember them for the life of me. Hopefully they weren't important. Now that my neck is not broken, I should be much more frequent in my uploads and I have uh, hopes to do some more live streams on YouTube for Astral Chain, for Zelda when that comes out. I just want to play games and being able to do it on YouTube helps me get it done a little more frequently, I guess. In the meantime, please make sure you're subscribed to me and you follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter. Twitter is really where I'm the most active. Uh, even if my head feels like it's going to explode, I can usually tweet, so... That's nice. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see again. <sighs> but there's a really bad reflection. That's why I wasn't wearing them. So I'm gonna go, but I'll see you real soon. Love you. Diku diku diku.